Hey guys, welcome back. This video is on getting things done, how I plan and organize my life. So earlier today, I was super stressed because I had no idea what today's video was gonna be on and I did what any sensible person would have done. I distracted myself and I procrastinated and I did it in the form of planning and organizing my life because that's just what I do to distract myself. But while I was doing that, I realized the act of taking what's in here. So any ideas, any thoughts, any tasks you have to do, any errands you have to run by taking this and putting it down on paper and then seeing it for what it is. All the things doesn't matter. It can be picking up your cat. It can be the projects that you have to do. It can be petting yourself, giving yourself an ego pet, telling you yourself you did well. Taking these tasks and prioritizing what's the most important and then putting these tasks where they belong. So for example, in your calendar, in your to-do list for the day, in your to-do list for some day, in your journal, in your planner, whatever. The act of doing something like this <laughs> is so cathartic. I felt like 20 pounds were lifted off my shoulders and I felt so much lighter that I was like, why not make this into a video? So, this is what this video is gonna be about. Thank you Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Blinkist is a super cool app that transforms key insights of over 200 best-selling non-fiction books into powerful packs you can read or blink and listen to in just 15 minutes. In a nutshell, the good people at Blinkist read a lot of books, pull out key insights, and explain them in easy to digest summaries. Might I add, this is a much better form of distraction compared to aimlessly scrolling through social media. While I was distracting myself, I linked a book called Getting Things Done, hence the title, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. So I was stressed, I wanted to be more productive, so I was like, great, I'll read this. And that was what inspired me to start planning and start organizing and what inspired me to make this video. And all the books that I'm gonna reference, you can also blink. So without further ado, this is the longest intro of the century, but I hope it all, it all came together somehow. So the first thing I do, like I mentioned earlier, is to transfer what's in here onto paper. Brain dump all the bullet points, all the things, all the thoughts, all the feelings. Maybe not feelings because you can't really turn feelings into actionable items. But brain dump everything on here onto paper. And it can be in any form. It could be thought bubbles. It can be a bullet point list. It can be whatever you want just so that it's on a piece of paper. And you can see all the things you have to do and all the thoughts that you have. And then you prioritize. What I used to do in the past is I would either pick the most time consuming thing and do it first or I would pick the couple of easiest things or I'll pick like the simplest things and I'll do it first or I'll just kind of go down in the order that had the to-do list written out but what I learned is that this isn't the most effective and or efficient use of my time because not all tasks are created equal this I got from the one thing this is a book by Gary Keller I believe the main takeaway is when you are about to start your day ask yourself this question what is the one thing I can do such that by doing it everything else will become easier are necessary so this makes you really ask yourself if i can only do one thing today what would that one thing be this question of course can be applied on a more macro scale which is what is the one thing i can do in my life that will make me the happiest or it can be applied on a micro 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 scale of within the list of to do's that i have to do today what can i do today to help me get to where i want to be to help me be more productive to help me be happy to help me be healthier so that is the first way to look at how to prioritize and then a second way to look at how to prioritize is the 80 20 rule it's the pareto principle so this dude named pareto this dude he was an economist i think italian economist does it matter do you guys care yes he was an italian economist and he discovered one day while he was browsing through his gardens that 20% of his pea pods produced 80% of the peas. Pea, 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 peas. So with this, he realized 20% of your input will usually produce 80% of your output. So again, it's like knowing what that 20% is, knowing what these most important things are, do them so that you can achieve 80% of the results. So now that you've taken everything in here, putting on a piece of paper, had a time to look over it, know what's most important, know what you have to tackle for the day. When you first do this, it may be kind of overwhelming because you have things from your work life, projects you have to do, deadlines you have to meet, and you have things from your personal life, picking up laundry, calling your mom, something from your social life, dinner with a friend, picking out a restaurant. So now the third thing to do is to organize this. I use three things religiously. There is iCal, there is a web browser called To Do, Tux Do, that I use, I've been using it, that I've been loving, and my Gmail is also always open because Gmail 
So for iCal, I mostly use it for appointments, reminders, and blocking out my schedule. I love the monthly view because you can see everything at a glance very quickly. You know what you're getting yourself into for the month and just by glancing over it, you have a really good idea of what to expect. I also love how everything is color-coded. So there's work, my spiritual stuff, play, which is social, gym, working out, appointments, and travel. Appointment is read by design because these are like the most important things that I do not want to miss. There's also the weekly view, which I love using every once in a while to block out every single moment of my day to schedule my day to make sure I maximize everything. I don't always adhere to it but it's nice to do the night before so I kind of have a mental visualization of where my day is gonna go. The next thing that I use is to do. To me it's like a to-do list on crack. I love how I can easily drag and drop everything around. At the very bottom you can also customize what you want these different lists to be. So I have one for YouTube, people I want to connect with, projects. What projects mean is basically things that require multiple tasks within it so what i put on the top are all actionable items that like i need to film this i need to edit this i need to do this specifically so what goes in here is the one or two tasks that i have to do today like the one or two tasks my one thing my one or two tasks that i have to do today that can make everything else easier and necessary it'll go in here and then the someday bucket is things that I have to do eventually that doesn't have an imminent deadline. I'll just put it there. And another thing is uh, Gmail. Everything is labeled. Everything has a place that belongs. If there's no place that belongs, I'll create a place for it to belong or I'll delete it. For my inbox, I also section it in a way where the very top shows the label to do. So any email that gets labeled to do means there's an open task that still needs to be done. I need to respond to a question. I need to send them something or they're waiting for something from me. Usually it's just things that require immediate attention or things that I want to be reminded of that I still need to do. And once I do do one of those things, let's say I still need to follow up, I'll change the label from to do to follow up, which will go into the second section. And this section means that although I've already taken action, the task is still open because I'm either waiting for something from someone, I need to follow up with someone, I need to make sure it gets done, then it's unread and then it's everything else. And so how you section everything everything is you go to settings and then inbox and then inbox section you can choose this yourself you can choose within all of these things more options you can choose a label you can show how many emails show per item and you can move these around and then labeling is right next to it. You can create however many labels you want. You can remove it, you can edit it. So the fourth thing you do is after you put everything in here onto paper, prioritize it, know what's important, organize it, look at everything comprehensively. No matter what system you create for yourself, no matter what process you create for yourself, if you don't constantly review it and revamp it and recalibrate it and improve it, it's not going to help you. It's gonna make you less productive if you forget where you put things. So it's important to review everything to know what's most important to you and to continually revise your system so that it is pumping on all cylinders and it's helping you be your best self and be as productive as you can. So the fifth and final thing to do is to just do it. Now that you put everything where they belong, now that you know what's most important, now that you know the one thing that you have to do, the 20% of what you need to do to produce 80% of your results, it's time to just rubber to road and go. Planning and organizing helps. Buying all the tools, all the things, all the gadgets, it helps. It definitely does. But at the end of the day, if you don't actually do it, none of it matters. If you actually don't do the task at hand, it doesn't matter how well organized and how well planned you are because nothing is getting done so with that thank you guys so much for joining me for this video if you want to blink the book i referenced for this video getting things done you can in the link in the description ling, 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 ling. you can in the link in the description they're currently offering 20 percent off to you beautiful humans if you want to use it they have a yearly subscription which turns out to be about five dollars a month or they also have monthly or a free trial so there's three options that you can do three options that you can try if this is something that you're interested in. I honestly think it's super cool. I've already blinked over like a dozen books and I love how I can read or skim through these books before I actually commit to a book. I love how user-friendly the app is. It's super intuitive. It's super easy to use. And there's also an audio option for if you're on the go. A thing that I like to remind myself is time spent on yourself, money spent on yourself is number time or money wasted. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day have a beautiful rest of your weekend
Monday, weekday, any day, whatever you watch this. Here's a hug. Oh, here's a hug. I, this video was so difficult to film. I don't know why. Honestly, I think it's one of those days. But uh, here it is. Hope you guys liked it and you enjoy share with me what your guys's process are if you guys have any if you guys have any hacks if you guys have any tips on how to plan and organize better i would love to hear it and i will see you guys in next week's video bye